Welcome to the March Madness Tournament of Books. Over the course of the next four weeks, you'll be listening to 16 picture books that have been carefully selected to represent some values of our school. Kindness, diversity, acceptance, and perseverance. Each week, two pairs of books will face off and you will determine the ultimate winner. Since we always tell you that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, you will listen to short book talks of each contender created by students at King's School. After listening to a pair of book talks, you will complete your very own bracket predicting which books will win each match and which books will advance to the finals. Let's take a look at week one. We will be listening to Carmela Full of Wishes and My Brother Charlie. After listening to the book talks, you will predict the winner by writing your selected title on the next line. So if you predict that Carmela Full of Wishes is going to be better than My Brother Charlie, then you will write Carmela Full of Wishes on this line. You will do the same thing for each pair of books. Here, if you predict that Sumi's first day of school ever will win against those shoes, then you will write Sumi's first day of school ever here. You will continue making predictions for all eight pairs on the outside of the page. Congratulations, you just chose the Elite Eight. Next, you will need to predict the final four. Take a look at your Elite Eight matchups. If you said Carmela Full of Wishes is going to win versus Sumi's first day of school ever, you will write the winner here. You will continue doing this for the other three pairs. Congrats, you just selected your final four predictions. Now we need to narrow it down to the final matchup. You will predict the winner of this matchup and write it here, and then you will predict the winner of this matchup and write it here, before finally choosing the ultimate winner. When you are done with your bracket, be sure you to write your first and last name along with your homeroom number, because your teacher will be collecting it. Our first matchup is Carmela Full of Wishes versus my brother Charlie. Carmela Full of Wishes. Carmela's birthday couldn't get any better. Today she's finally old enough to go on errands with her big brother, and their afternoon together is filled with the magic of their busy neighborhood. When she picks a dandelion from the crack in the concrete, she begins her journey to find the per her perfect wish. What will Carmela wish for? Will she get her wish? Cross your fingers and maybe you'll find out. My brother Charlie. Callie is very proud of her brother Charlie. He is good at so many things, but sometimes Charlie gets very quiet. His words get locked up inside of him. He seems so far away. In this heartfelt story, we meet a family whose oldest son teaches them about important lessons about togetherness, hope, and tolerance. Which book do you think will be better? Write it here. Next up, Sumi's first day of school ever and those shoes. Sumi's first day of school ever. Here is a thoughtful picture book about a young Korean girl trying to find her place in a new classroom on a first day of school. For Sumi, the first day is extra hard because she doesn't know the language as everybody else. The kindness of a teacher and classmate go a long way in helping convince Sumi that school is not such a Those scary shoes. Place. What are those? Have you ever been teased for your shoes? This book is about a boy named Jeremy that wants to fit in with the rest of his classmates. But the cool shoes that it seems everyone is getting these days are way too expensive. He eventually thinks he finds the solution, but what he finds is a true friend that challenges him to make a difficult decision. Will Jeremy have to answer the dreaded question ever again? What are those? Time to predict a winner. Sumi's first day ever or those shoes? Let's say you picked Sumi and Carmela to win that round. Now you need to pick a winner for these two and write it here. Our next face-off is... The Boy Who Could Harness the Wind versus City's Secrets. The Boy Who Could Harness the Wind. William is a curious young man in Malawi, a country on the continent of Africa. In desperate need of electricity and water, he has an idea and perseverance, two ingredients that will help him inspire the entire world with his story. City's Secrets. 
Mona's grandmother, her city, lives in a small Palestinian village on the other side of the earth. When Mona went to visit her, they learned about each other's worlds, and they discovered each other's secrets. Even with thousands of miles between them, they remained bonded across language barriers, time zones, and national borders. Predict your winner for this matchup. Let's take a listen to our next two book talks. Rosie Revere, Engineer. Where some people see rubbish, Rosie Revere sees inspiration. Alone in her room at night, shy Rosie constructs great inventions from odds and ends. Hot dog dispensers, helium pans, python repelling cheese hats. Rosie's gizmos could astound if she ever let anyone see them. Will Rosie face the fear of failure and share her ideas? Ada Twist, scientist. Why are there pointy things stuck to a rose? Why are there hairs up inside your nose? Ada Twist's head is full of questions. Like her classmates, Iggy and Rosie, Ada has always been endlessly curious. But when her fact-finding missions and elaborate scientific experiments go too far, her frazzled parents banish her to the thinking chair. Will all that thinking change Ada's mind? Predict a winner for this pair. Moving over to the top right side of our bracket, let's hear our next pair. Teammates, this is the moving story of how Jackie Robinson became the first black player on a Major League Baseball team when he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers in the 1940s and how on a fateful day in Cincinnati, K.V. Reese took a stand and declared J Jackie his teammate. Testing the Ice. This true story about Jackie Robinson is told from the perspective of his daughter, Sharon Robinson. She shares several memories of her father as he broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. She also gives readers a glimpse into his personal life with amusing memories around a lake at their Connecticut home. Sharon shows readers Jackie Robinson was courageous on and off the field. Which Jackie Robinson book do you think will be better? Write your choice here. Moving right along, we have two biographies to listen to next. The Right Word. The story of Peter Marc Roget, creator of Roget's Thesaurus, one of the most widely used reference books ever published, is presented in this delightful picture book biography. Peter was a collector of words. Will you like, enjoy, relish, appreciate, or love this book? I could do that. I could do that, says six-year-old Esther as she watches her mother making tea, start her own business at the age of 19. Why? She could do that, too. But one thing Esther and other women could not do was vote. Only men could do that. This story shows how one girl's courage propels her through a life filled with challenges. Read to find out how her courage impacted others for centuries to come. You know what to do. Write your prediction here. Next up, We're All Wonders versus Dancing in the Wings. We're All Wonders. This picture book rendition of the popular novel Wonder will remind us that we can't change the way people look, but we can change the way we see. Dancing in the Wings. In this story, Sassy is told she is too tall and her feet are too big for her to achieve her dreams of being a dancer. She is often left to dance in the wings of the main stage. When a famous director comes to Sassy's dance rehearsal, she tries to steal his attention with some high jumps and a bright leotard. Her first attempts are definitely not appreciated, but with her heart set on dancing and her head above the rest, Sassy just might be able to win him over. Write your selection here. Which did you like better? Here is our last matchup. Name Jar. It's a new country, a new town, and a new school for Eunhye. So what about a new name? Having just arrived from Korea with her family, Eunhye is anxious about making friends and worried that no one will be able to pronounce her name. Instead of introducing herself on the first day of school, she decides to pick a new name. The only problem is that she doesn't know what name to choose. Layla's Lunchbox. Layla's family has moved to Georgia from Abu Dhabi, and Layla still misses her friends. Although a lot has changed, good things are happening too. This year, her parents have agreed that she's old enough to take part in fasting for Ramadan. 
Layla won't be taking her lunchbox to school for a whole month, but Layla's excitement turns into worry. Will Miss Penworth and her classmates understand that she hasn't just forgotten her lunch? How, could, how can she explain that fasting for Ramadan is an important part of growing up? Make your final prediction here before moving on to make your final four selection. Remember when we said Carmela might be matched up against Sumi? Well, now we're predicting that Carmela, full of wishes, will win. Down here, I made an example with Siti's Secrets winning and Rosie, Revere, Engineer. Now I need to predict who will win to go on to the final four. You will continue this here and here. Then you will determine who will win to go in these final two spots, then your winner.